today's video, I am going to. But first, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. So in today's video, we're going to do hay on Godan. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video for some tips and tricks on how to improve your kata. I know some of you are going to say, hey, he's not key eyeing. Well, I'm just trying to follow some uh, cleanliness protocols due to the virus. So I'm not um, spreading any germs around any more than I have to. Some of the common mistakes, the first movement is stepping. Again, whenever you're doing your back stance, you're sinking. Sink an underarm block. Here you need to rotate your hip all the way around. But without loosening your stance. Coming in as you come around. Your hook punch should be away from your body, about six inches. If you can do a straight punch here, and then just bend your elbow, that's where you should be. You should be not flat, but downward angle slightly, and don't lift your shoulder up to do it, just relax. Always looking in the way that you're going. Here again, you're sitting up by your shoulder. There's many different um, options here. Some people just go straight up. Not a lot of power. If you come in a little bit, you'll have more power. This is rotate around at the wrist and down. Don't bring it back here, just here, down. This is covered. This person's coming with a knife, you can block it here. Not back, this is not a blocking technique. This is a strike, a strike. So you're not going back like this, just straight out. For your block coming around, Knee comes up as well as the arm. Block and then drive down into a downward block here. And when I get a chance to have partners for this and show you my bunkai, I'll show you some interesting things and some really cool applications for that movement. This action. I know in techie it's done incorrectly, just like this. It's a hooking block. You're coming around in it, hooking the opponent's arm. Hook. When you do the crescent kick, don't think about throwing your body into it. Keep your hip back and let it sink. Hip back, let your legs sink. You'll be able to do the kick easier. This is on a 45 de degree angle. Since you're in cross-legged stance, your body should be facing this way. Now, a lot of people have done it and then out on tippy toes. It's actually a short back stance with your foot planted. It's going to make it a lot easier for you to jump. On your jump, up and down. Don't think about distance. You're not going to land on your spot correctly. And if you jump for distance, when you land, your body's going to want to fall into the next movement. There's no dynamics there. You want to land tight and then use your body to move into the next movement. The final two sequences. You're here. Breaking it down slowly. This hand comes up, this one comes behind you. Then you're going to turn on your your foot landing in a single line front stance. Drive in and then back. As you're coming back, you don't want to drive it way up. This is coming past your face. Stepping up. Now I know a lot of people do it this way and then step in. 
That's very basic, very beginner. So when you come back up, all you want to do is rotate your body enough so that you can drive in and come back. Yes. If you're looking for a good manual to follow for the Heian Katas, Best Karate number five is your best bet. Just remember, you're going to have to look at both the pictures, the text, both in English and Japanese, and the little cartoon drawings at the bottom. The little drawings are very key. They're going to tell you about directional movements, proper foot placement, and body dynamics. If you don't have a copy of this book, I'll put a link in the description below. It covers the Heian Katas as well as the Teki Katas. So this is a really good resource for beginners and intermediate students. Don't forget to check out some of the other videos in our Shotokan Kata series. See you next time right here on the Shotokan Chronicles.